Alright guys, this is a, uh, I had some technical difficulties when I had uh, both ambulances uh, out in front of the building there and ran out of tape. So I'm going to do this all over again. This is a, a 2006 E450 by Wheeled Coach. Um, has 75,500 miles on it. Very low miles. And I'm going to give you a walk around and then we will go through all of the cabinets and uh, inside the patient compartment and into the cab and show you everything there is to see. Uh, let me back up here. And unlike uh, the 08 that this is paired up with, it doesn't have uh, chevrons on the back. Uh, you could have that done, we could have that done for you. Um, we do graphics and stripes and stuff like that. So if that is something you need, um, certainly let me know. So that's the outside. Um, I'll start going through the compartments. Uh, compartment one is the oxygen compartment. And you can see there's a rack in there that'll accommodate an M tank or full size H tank. Right now I just have a tiny test tank in there to uh, show you that the oxygen system works. Um, there's that. This compartment here is for uh, whatever you want to put, extrication equipment, uh, restock supplies, uh, more EMS gear, nice roomy spot. This is the backboard compartment. Uh, very big. You could there's all the in the outside compartments are coated with a like a Linex truck bed type uh, of spray. It minimizes the the sounds for, uh, to the, to the inside of the patient compartment, and it just uh, prevents the the walls of the cabinets from getting marred up. And there's a divider there. There's three shelves. You could put head beds or uh, seat collars up there, uh, and it's large enough to put several. Uh, backboards or a flat or even a scoop stretcher. There's that. The patient compartment will go in here in a minute and I have to fire this thing up so we can get some light back here and whatnot but let me finish going through these compartments. Down here is a space for uh, turnout gear, SCBA tanks, there's also a rack for three extra D tanks, oxygen tanks there. Up here, so you could put, again, more turnout gear or uh, whatever you want to put. It's a good sized little compartment there. Of course, this is the side door to the patient compartment. Again, we'll go in there in a second. And then this is your compartment for uh, your jump bag, your portable suction, and your monitor all that stuff there. Down below are the batteries and a pull-out tray. That tray slides out and that is that. So let me fire this thing up and then we'll go in the back. I'll start showing you everything. to the back. Okay, so let me get some lights going here. And uh, all right, so here's what we got. We got above the the rear doors there is a uh, cabinet there for typically for latex gloves, extra boxes of gloves and whatnot. Um, on the, on the uh, driver's side of the uh, rig, there's two large compartments there. There's two large drawers here. You can put dividers and stuff to uh, organize it however you want. There's that. Down here is a shallow space for uh, soft restraints or extra seat belts for the gurney or whatever you want to put. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the CPR seat right there you can bring down the um, you can bring that down if you want more counter space or 
if you don't, you can leave it up. Um, underneath the seat there, there's room for uh, bed pans, urinals, maybe a pillow or blanket under there. Um, over here is area for oxygen masks, BBMs, cannulas, all that stuff. Up above, we've got a lockable narcotics locker. And um, there's that. Very large and roomy. We've got more storage over here on the action wall. There's a shelf in the middle that's adjustable. Um, all the electronics are back behind the jump seat there. Um, and then here's the actual action wall. There is a plate here if you have a computer monitor to want to connect. That's what this rig had for uh, communication with the hospitals. It'll show which hospitals are on diversion, who's uh, ER saturated, whatnot. So uh, you can transport to the appropriate facility. But that monitor has been removed. That whole system has been removed. Now the radios are staying in here. The radio brains have been removed, so this is just the radio head and the mics and speakers that are in here, but they're going to stay in the ambulance. So, there's that. Let me show you some of the buttons here. We've got the patient air conditioner right there. Feels pretty good. And then you've got the variable levels of uh, can barely hear it but the low is pretty weak mediums weak highs the one that you would probably use most of the time and then you got your uh, lights for high or low and you know there's the low and there's the high and on the other side you got there's the high there's the low and there's that um, the exhaust fan suck out the fumes from there or over there there's that uh, the suction um, I'll show you that you can see the needle moving there and there's the suction that's great oh it's got power door lock so if you look at this uh, little knob right there you can lock out anyone that you don't want to uh, be climbing into the back. Let's see what else. Uh, oh, on the bench seat, there is. Uh, let's see if I can open this iris. Let me open that iris up. This is a fairly new camera to me, and I'm not 100% up to speed on it. Okay, so, oh yeah, before I forget, it also has floor mounts for a Ferno or a Striker. So regardless of what kind of gurney you have, you've got floor plates for Ferno or a striker. So back to this uh, IV drawer on the bench seat. You're going to put your tourniquets, your needles, and tagaderm in there. Underneath the bench seat, there's a big space for traction splints, or pillows, blankets, whatever you want to put there. Above the bench seat, there's another compartment for more stuff. Um, the upholstery is in great condition. There's no, uh, there's no tears. It's not marked up or anything like that. There's a big beefy armrest to keep you on the bench seat and not in the cabinets if your partner breaks hard. Um, there we got more drawers over here. There, that is a portable. Uh, that's a suction or a uh, charging station for portable suction for a score portable suction unit. Uh, and that works if you happen to have score portable suction you can put it there to keep it charged there's a drawer here and then there's a large drawer here with a file rack so you can put patient care reports release of liability whatever forms you might carry in your jurisdiction now the jump seat is right there it has the integrated child seat in there and it also swivels, so um, if there's a situation where you need to turn the seat around, sometimes people get car sick sitting backwards and they need to look out for the windshield, you can do that, provided that you don't have a patient in here. 